everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and we are back in the Decoding the Dress Code mini-series. In this series, I am going through various dress codes that you may get on an invitation or if you're going somewhere, you got plans. Dress codes are stressful, so I want to just break it down and make it super easy for you so you know exactly what to reach for in your closet. In the last video, we talked about what to wear if you're going to a wedding. So if you missed that video, go on back and check it out. Now this video today is a lot more versatile. I mean, how often are we really going to weddings unless you have like 800 friends? But in this video, this is something we do all the time, and that is dining out. I don't know about you, but I love going out to eat um, cooking for one is a real downer, so I definitely go out to eat, order in. For that, you can wear pajamas, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what you wear when you actually go out to eat. Now, back in the day, going out to eat was like a really big deal, and you got dressed, you made plans, there's reservations. Now, people are so used to eating out on a regular basis, they kind of forget how to dress for it. And you know me, anytime you're going out in public, use that as an opportunity to wear your awesome clothes, be the best version of yourself, and create new opportunities. You have no idea who you might meet at a restaurant, or at a bar, or standing in line for the really awesome brand new popular donut place. So you want to make sure that you're dressed well for you, but you're also dressed well for the different restaurant that you're going to. So we're going to break down the different dress codes that you might run into and I'll give you a few ideas of what you might want to wear. So the first dress code is casual. You go on Yelp, you check out the restaurant, you make sure it has four and a half to five stars, nothing below, and you check out the food, you know what you're going to order, and you slide on over and you look at the dress code it most likely will say that it's casual. Now, casual does not mean that anything goes, and that is really what people are thinking these days. Oh, my body's covered? I can head on out. Whether it's like with a crappy shoe, a hideous flip-flop, some horrible outfit with stains on it. Dude, you're going out. I don't care if it's casual, you're going out. Okay, maybe you can look like crap if you're like going to McDonald's, okay? It's just expected there. But anywhere else that's like a casual dining experience, you wanna look at least decent. So yes, you can wear jeans, but they should be jeans that aren't like covered in paint, unless that's a design, uh, and with holes in it, unless that's how they're supposed to be. You don't wanna look like you just crawled out of a garbage can. So nice jeans, decent top, a real pair of shoes, like let's skip the beat up sneakers and running shoes, let's skip the flip flops. You just want to look like a nice put together person who is going out to eat. Sounds simple, but can be pretty complex. So just if you would wear it to cut the lawn <laughs> or to go work out, that does not cut it as casual. It needs to be real clothes. All right, moving right along. The next dress code you might run into while dining out is business casual. Now I know you're probably used to hearing that dress code aligned with workwear, but if you are going to a restaurant that specializes in business affairs, like maybe like a country club or like a co-working space, like there's, you know, Soho Club and like all those different areas where most of the intended lunching is done for business and there will be some sort of business casual type of dress code. So it doesn't mean you have to look stuffy like you're going to work, but you do need to look appropriate. So this might mean suit separates, not like a full suit, but you might wear a nice pair of jeans, a pretty blouse, and a blazer, and like a decent pair of shoes, and a great tote bag. Um, that you could keep like your laptop in or any business papers. For a man, maybe it would be like khaki pants and like a polo shirt. I mean, that just sounds totally dorky, <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. So you wanna look 
professional, but still casual. So you're not dressing up for work, but you do want to look appropriate for that business casual dress code. For a woman, it could even be like a nice little shift dress with a great pair of heels. So you want to be in a business state of mind when you're operating under that dress code. The next dress code that you might see is called casual elegant. Confusing, right? Now, when it comes to these like double worded codes, I want you to pay attention to the first word as like your guiding point, okay? So business casual, business comes first, casual comes second. Casual elegant, the casual is first, so we wanna be dressed casually, but the elegant follows. So instead of a casual being jeans, a decent looking top, a nice pair of shoes, that's straight up casual. How can we translate that into something more elegant? So this could be a sundress or a pretty little maxi skirt with a nice, a nice top. So it's more dressed up than jeans, but it's not so dressed up that we're entering into like a semi-formal territory. It's still casual, but dressed up casual. So long explanation short, put on a sundress and call it a freaking day, okay? So that is casual elegant. So we've gone from casual to business casual to casual elegance. So see, we're kind of moving up in the dressiness. The next one you write, might run into is formal. Now, I don't want you to get confused with the formal that would come with, say, going to a wedding. That's what we talked about in the last video, you know, where you really want to be decked out, you might have a, a long gown on. These days, you know, we want to keep in mind, like, where we are currently. People just don't dress up as much as they used to. So if you went to a restaurant and you had, like, a full-length gown on, you might look like a freak, okay? So when it says formal, you can go ahead and wear a really pretty cocktail dress. You could also get away with dressy separates. You could wear like a really beautiful skirt and like a beaded top or something sparkly, but you want to be dressed up. They say it's formal for a reason. Don't pay attention to what the other schlubs are wearing. You know, some people might roll in in something that's just not cool. Like I went to a really great dinner a couple weeks ago and on the website, it said dressy slash formal. And I don't know, it's LA, it was confusing. I wasn't sure what to wear. So I put on these like beautiful, like um, satin pants, uh, one shoulder black top, a really dressy necklace and some beautiful heels. And I felt dressy enough but I also felt not so out of place in case everybody else was tripping and because it's Los Angeles and no one knows how to dress up in LA. But it was good, like I found a good blend where I felt comfortable. Some women there had on like really nice cocktail dresses and then some people didn't get the memo and had on some like weird jeans and a top. But I felt good. I felt that I was adhering to the dress code, respecting the restaurant, we had this like amazing caviar tasting. It's my first romp in the hay with caviar, but I felt good, like I felt appropriate. So that really goes hand in hand with following these dress codes. It's like, sure, you don't really want to, um, and like, sure, some other jerk's gonna like wear jeans anyways, but it's about how you feel, about how you're presenting yourself, and you really don't know who you're gonna meet. Like, I could have met some hottie that, like, turns into my husband. I didn't, but at least I felt fly eating caviar. So you can definitely get away with a really nice cocktail dress. I would probably skip the long dresses. You could, um, but I would go more cocktail if it says formal. And then the last dress code, the dressiest of the dress codes when it comes to dining out, is jacket required. So this doesn't mean that you wear a jacket, ladies. This means that your man, your date, whoever, he's jacket required. This is signifying this is the most dressy of the dress codes. So again, like not a lot of people are eating out with like a full length freaking gown on, 
but you could because this is a really elevated dress code. So if you wanted to wear a long dress to eat, go for it. But when you're working with your cocktail dress, which is something that I recommend for this dress code, um, really like pull it out. Wear a dark color, wear a nice fabric, wear something with a little beading or a little sparkles, bust out the good jewelry, pop on the red lip. Jacket required means this is dressed up. This is a nice restaurant. You want to respect the chef. You want to respect the other patrons. So really like pull it out. Now, I'm sure I'll get in the comments people that are like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna put on a cocktail dress to like go out to eat or like, mm, I'm eating at Applebee's, I don't care what I wear. You know, do whatever you wanna do. I really don't care. <laughs> but what I want you guys to know is anytime you leave the house, you are like leaving with a billboard of who you are, what you stand for, who you wanna meet, where you wanna go in life. So anytime I get the opportunity to leave my house, I'm getting dressed. And it's a fabulous opportunity to wear the clothes hanging in your closet that don't get a lot of play. I have this whole section in my wardrobe of these really great dresses and jumpsuits and fun tops and great heels that I don't get to wear every day when I'm working. Like I'm just working on my laptop or running out shopping and I got this on. So if I'm going to have the opportunity to wear a beautiful dress and feel pretty for an evening, then I'll take it. And I don't care what anyone else is wearing or what anyone else thinks. Um, if they're wearing jeans and I'm wearing a dress, you know what? Screw them. Because it's about me and what I want to do with my life. So I encourage you, the next time you go out to eat, just dress up. See how it makes you feel. If you decide that you feel like a fool and you want to go back to like wearing your jeans and running shoes out to eat, go on with your bad self, okay? But I'm here to help you and give you some style tips so you can feel your best and look your best all the time, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it cleared up some confusion on what you might wear when you're going out to eat. Join me for the next video where we are gonna dive into the different dress codes for work. Now, we spend most of our time at work, so I think you're gonna find that one incredibly helpful. So, you know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna to subscribe to my channel because you're not even gonna remember, probably, that that next video is coming out. So if you're subscribed, then you will be in the know and you will get to watch the next video. So get your subscribe on and I will catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.